We're concentrating on this one because that's what they want us to concentrate on about the St. Louis mountains. And that's why the middle one has to do with the mountains or the Midwest. Gonzalo Gons Jove is a muralist and sculptor with a remarkable career spanning over three decades. Well, the is represented by the universe, which is massive of everything, and uh, the other parts of the Southwest, and uh, you've got the Northeast, the Northwest, the Southwest, the Northeast. Through unwavering dedication, Jove has transformed his lifelong dream of being a full-time artist into reality. Presently based in St. Louis, while also maintaining a residence in La Paz, Bolivia, his commitment to both locales manifests in his ongoing mural projects and his proactive involvement in community education and engagement. I wanted to highlight the point of the respect of Mother Nature and how we can coexist with Mother Nature and how we have been coexisting with Mother Nature through this whole time. As an artist, I view myself as a storyteller entrusted with conveying the collective emotions and narratives of our communities to inspire movements for social justice and foster a more inclusive, harmonious society. My team and I interviewed numerous indigenous community members to aim and amplify the voices and resilience of our indigenous community. My dedication to preserving indigenous history and culture through art is deeply personal and I am confident that this mural will serve as a profound testament to the enduring strength and resilience of indigenous communities for generations to come. The mural will encapsulate the enduring resilience and profound connection of indigenous people to their land. It is fundamental that our indigenous community members are represented and visibility is brought to their origins. The mural showcases the historical significance of Cahokia Mounds, Sugarloaf Mound, Big Mound, and numerous mounds destroyed. Still Standing Mural honors the original occupants and caretakers of this land. Through the depiction of one cube gracefully floating on the ocean, adorned with intricate details honoring the mound's historical importance, you will see six more cubes in a silhouette representing the expansive indigenous territories celebrating the diverse landscapes and numerous tribal communities. Seven cubes in total represents the native tradition that whatever we do as a society will impact the next seven generations to come. Mama, it's like thank you for all the supplies, all the energy, all the knowledge to create something such as this. Cube is part of the life. Days of protection of these lads with the peoples in it. All the crap that came from the old world, from Europe and all, which was, which was represented by the, by the ships. They would come in and they tried to harm us and they tried to, and they tried to do all sorts of crap to us. But in those cubes, you can't penetrate that nature, that, 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 that all that stuff could not penetrate our cubes. They could scratch it, maybe leave marks, but you never 
encourage our inner self, our OGT, that's what it represents. You could do whatever you want, but she can't hurt us in the inside. We're still, we still have our values. I, I think what we wanted to do was concentrate on positive. Not, you know, we know all the crap that happened. But we have that resilience as people. You know, we have that resilience as people. Hey, we we, we're, we're still here on this spot, on this piece of land. And he ain't gonna take us away. This land is, is, has been ours and will be ours. And will be all of ours, not just us people, but everybody's people.